though 3D printing is still in its infancy, and I believe there's still plenty of wild and wonderful things to look forward to in the coming years, we've already made so much progress in the last decade. One area of continuous innovation is the ability to print in multiple different colors. As with most 3D printing innovations, multicolor printing was first seen on industrial machines, but has been making its way over to desktop 3D printers lately. Starting number 1, GeTech A20M, GeTech has a couple of different 3D printers on the market, and I found the A20M to be its best option for multicolor 3D printing. Given that the field is still highly experimental, the A20M doesn't cost much, which is an immediate bonus. In fact, for any reliable dual extruder, the A20M is still a great price. It's also blessedly easy to set up, and the dual extrusion 3D printing technology tends to work well. But the real reason I loved this 3D printer was its ability to push the envelope on color mixing. You really don't see this very much in personal 3D printers, and it's completely unheard of at this price point. With the GeTech, you can expect to print in two distinct colors, striping or the like, or even mix and slash or grade your colors, allowing for a full spectrum of shades and hues. To be clear, there is a second GeTech 3D printer that is almost identical, A20M. This printer is a single extruder, though, and won't handle your multicolor printing. At number 2, XYZ Printing Da Vinci Color. This super popular 3D printer is probably the first one you'll see when you search for a personal use full color 3D printer. And there's a good reason for that. The Da Vinci Color is one of the first, if not the first, personal printers to offer full color printing. While this 3D printer still has its bugs, it can offer a 3D printing design experience that's miles ahead of almost any other 3D printer on the list. The Da Vinci's full color capabilities mean creators have almost total control over every aspect of their design, including the exterior color design. Gone are the days of painting by hand. With the right schematics, you can print just about any design imaginable. The 3D printer also comes with hands-free calibration, which can significantly reduce the amount of time you spend fiddling with the Da Vinci Color. And while I didn't have enough time to experiment with this feature as extensively as I might have liked, it seemed to work very well for the few prints I tested. To note, this printer comes in the regular size, which I looked at here and a miniature version that is basically a scaled-down version of the original Da Vinci Color. At number 3, don't be surprised if you haven't heard of this one before, it's a recent Kickstarter success story, and I only came across it when I was researching 3D printers for this article. That said, I'm glad I did. The Shark is a cool, cool 3D printer and its color mixing capabilities are only one piece of its arsenal. Yes, the Shark has full color mixing capabilities, coming in the form of dual extruder, much like the GeTech I reviewed earlier. Unlike the GeTech, though, the Shark comes with full metal extruders and a nozzle head, and showed no sign of clogging over my short trial period. But the fun doesn't stop there. The Shark is also loaded with tons of quality-of-life features, including a removable touchscreen, resume printing features, and even laser engraving functionality. At number 4, Tenlog TLD3 Pro. Unlike the printers before, the Tenlog TLD3 Pros has two extruders and two nozzles. It means that you can print two identical items simultaneously, in two distinct colors. You can also print in mirror mode and print in two different materials. It seems like a pretty simple adaptation of the popular, and increasingly affordable, dual extruder design. 
Without delving too far into the enormous potential of this function, try out different colors, double up on your creation rate, etc. This is something I expect a lot of other 3D printers to be adopting soon. But just as easily, these two nozzles can be used on the same product, either filling in a support filament, or going for the multicolor approach. It almost feels unfair constraining this 3D printer to a list like this, all thanks to its Swiss Army knife-like variety of functions and capabilities. How long does it take to assemble? The D3 Pro comes half-assembled, and it took me 30 minutes to put it together with the help of videos online. What I didn't like was the printer didn't come with a lot of instructions. The printer is not dead silent, and there's a low humming noise from the fans. However, it's noticeably quieter than my Ender 3 Pro. The print so far is very good, and I have better results with custom STL files than the test files from Tenlog. There are cheaper dual-color slash extruder 3D printers out there, but this is the most affordable independent dual extruder, IDEX, 3D printer today. All in all, this is the best multicolor 3D printer. At number 5, Flashforge Creator Pro, yet another excellent dual extruder 3D printer, the Flashforge Pro, takes the shape of the enclosed box design, whereas the other dual extruders on the list have all been open air. Aesthetically, this has always been my favorite design though it has its positives and negatives in more objective terms. Like the previous 3D printer, the Flashforge Creator is a dual-nozzle design, though it doesn't have the independent nozzle functionality and the image mirroring. However, it does have a substantial metal frame and faster printing on single objects than the two independent heads. On top of that, the enclosed design allows for better temperature control and less potential warping as a result. However, Flashforge went the distance with its design, also allowing for increased ventilation options if you're printing with PLA. Finally, the reliability of the Creator Pro's build plate shouldn't be overlooked. By and large, issues with build plates, leveling and covers have been the most prevalent issue I've had with printing. Having a solid, completely level plate was a wonderful change for me. At number 6, Mosaic Palette 2, this handy add-on is one of the most cross-compatible modifications out there. The Mosaic is compatible with all Bowden and DirectDrive 3D printers, meaning it covers the vast majority of the 3D printing field. In fact, a simple visit to the Mosaic site will tell you whether your machine is compatible with the add-on or not. Do check first. Essentially, this technology modifies 3D color printers, so they have the same capabilities as multi-extruder 3D printers. The Palette 2 comes with four filament extruders, each of which can be loaded with its own color or material. From there, the mosaic creates its own filament line, combining filaments into a single filament line, which your multicolor 3D printer pulls as it would any other filament line. It's important to note that the mosaic does not push filament into your 3D color printer, and your printer won't need many hardware upgrades to take this new filament line to your 3D printer. This is just another line of filament coming off a spool, like any other.